questions being asked right now about what Americans should be prepping for regarding stimulus checks that could be coming their way, uh, as well as mortgage relief that could be out there as well. For more on that, I want to bring on Jessica Menton from USA Today, uh, a reporter there. And Jessica, when we look at this, what should Americans know? I mean, we've covered the stimulus checks in terms of how much you need to be making. Uh, if you're making more than about $100,000, you're probably not going to be getting a check. But beyond that, uh, what else should Americans know about this? The coronavirus has swept the nation and the world. And our Congress and president have signed a bill to help people get relief. And in this video, I'm gonna highlight everybody that can get some money, and it's pretty much everybody in the United States. We'll break it down, and I will leave links for you in the video description. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. This is the Lamont Tyson channel. We make life gains up here, and we cover finances and money, Tesla, tech, movie reviews, TV show reviews. We do it all to help you get those life gains. If you have any questions or concern, hit me on Instagram because I'm able to get back with people pretty quick on DMs on Instagram. Well, it's clearly a fluid situation right now since it still needs to be signed by President Trump. But from the tax experts that I have spoken with, it seems like those income levels that we're aware of have remained the same. But there are some technicalities that people should really keep in mind. So say you have direct deposits set up with the IRS, you should expect to get this refund in your account within the next three weeks. But there are some problems when you think of, okay, well, what if I'm waiting on a paper check to come in the mail? And so there are some technicalities out there. So a lot of tax preparers I've spoken with have said, if you haven't filed your 2019 tax returns yet, you should do that as soon as possible so that they can have, the IRS can have the most updated address and direct deposit information. Because say, for instance, if you haven't filed yet and they were going off of your 2018 returns, they could have an old address or maybe a direct deposit account that you didn't want to use. So there's a lot of technicalities when it comes to things like this. So if you haven't filed yet, you should really get on that as soon as possible. First and foremost, let me give you the rundown. It's a $2 trillion bill that is going to basically save big corporation and this time try to save big America. They're going to be giving you $1,200. Now, how do you get to that $1,200? Ladies and gentlemen, think about it like this. Federal minimum wage in America it's $7.25. You do that times four hours, I mean times 40 hours a week and add $40 to it. That gives you $1,200. And I want you all to think about that the next time you get mad that we need an increase in the minimum wage. Because there are people living places like California, New York, where that's all they're living off of. And I can tell you right now, $1,200 in a month don't cover rent. However, it's put in place to help people get by as we're suffering. So if you are a single person and you made 75,000 or less and you have filed your taxes as of 2018, you'll be getting a check. If you're a couple, you made 150,000 or less and filed your taxes by 2018, you will be getting a check. If you are head of household and you filed $112,000 on your taxes or less, filed by 2018, you will be getting a check. Now, a lot of people think that that's it. Well, that's not it. You will also be getting a reduced check if you are a single person who earned between $75,000 and $99,000. They're gonna send you a check, but it's gonna be reduced, and they didn't say how much re reduction it would be. If you're a couple and you made between 150,000 to 198,000, you will get a check that will be reduced $5 for every $100 over $75,000 for single adults and 150 for married. So that's the reduction that you're gonna get, ladies and gentlemen. And for those of you that wanna know who doesn't get a check, because there are some people that aren't gonna get anything. Single adults who make more than 99,000 Married couples who earn more than $98,000 will not get a check. Basically, we just highlighted that. Those without a social security number and non-resident aliens, those who aren't U.S. citizens or U.S. nationals and don't have a green card or have not passed the substantial presence test, you're not going to get a check. You're also ineligible if your parents claim you as a dependent. So for you grown-ass 22-year-olds, you won't be getting anything. And for those same individuals 
who are married or single and you have kids that are 17 years of age or less, you get $500 for each kid. So Kiki Wyatt, she's about to be rich as hell because that chick got like nine kids. So she about to get paid. For my 1099 people, my hairstylists, my personal trainers, my struggle YouTubers, my struggle rappers, my struggle IG models, you are all 1099 filers and people who do Uber and Uber Eats are 1099 filers. There's money in there for you as well in the form of unemployment. How much unemployment are you gonna get? The federal government is gonna give you $600 a week and you're gonna get a state unemployment check and it's all gonna last for 17 weeks and you have to apply for this under your state unemployment program. And I will leave links to all this in the video description. For all the federal $1,200 money, you don't have to do anything. The government's gonna find you. Next, for people who run small business, and a small business typically is someone who has 500 or less employees. The government has thought about you as well because you all truly are the backbone of America. There are more of you out there than any other business and they thought about you and they've got a loan for you. And I know I wanna roll my eyes to a damn loan, but you're gonna be giving away money to the bigger corporation, it makes me sick. But some of you guys could use the help and we're gonna see if we can help you get it. So for small businesses, they pass something called the SBA 7A loan program. Now your credit union or your bank might be eligible for it. And the statistics are one in three banks are gonna be able to get this. So if your bank doesn't have it, keep digging to find someone who has the SBA 7A loan program. How does it work? The ceiling for most businesses and what you can apply for is you can apply for up to $10 million in a loan from this SBA program. And over the first eight weeks of the program, now this is the part that makes it good for you all. Over the first eight weeks, once you put in your application, you they're gonna subtract your expenses in terms of your mortgage or rent, utilities and payroll from the loan. But for the first eight weeks, you will not have to pay that money back. Think about that. That's really, they're just giving you that first, that money for the first two months. And they put this in place so that you can hold on to employees, pay your bills, and not leverage all these commercial properties going, losing money because people are having to move out because they can't pay their rent. However, if you are a small business in this category, you have to maintain keeping your employees and some employees you let go, you can bring them back within that first eight weeks put them back on payroll, and none of this is gonna count against the loan. So you're basically getting free money for eight weeks the minute you apply for the loan. So you all go out there and do some digging if you are a small business to see if you can get the 7A SBA program to help fortify your small business as we go through this chaotic time. Next thing we're gonna cover is student loans. Student loans are deferred for six months and we're gonna to have to wait to see how our education secretary handles that because it goes to her desk next and she's gotta deal it out. And I must say she hasn't done the best job, ladies and gentlemen, but the bill says you will not have to worry about student loans or interest until October, which will be six months. For those of you that haven't filed your taxes yet, you don't have to worry about your taxes until July the 15th. They've moved it from April to July give you some more time to get yourself around what has happened, get your hands around this situation, and put everything in a better perspective as we try to recover. Last point I'm gonna cover are those of you that are trying to get money back from airplanes, leisure trips that you might have planned months ago, and they've been giving you a hard time. If you follow my channel for years, you know I'm always telling people to use a credit card to pay for things because you have protections on the credit card that you don't have on a debit card or giving people access to your bank account. If someone you scheduled a booking with canceled it and you can't get up with them or you, for whatever reason, can't give them to give you a refund, let's say they're trying to give you some damn e-credit or something, but you want your money because you're not going, maybe you're like me, your wife is pregnant and you ain't planning on going on no airplane or anywhere like that for the next, the next year anyway, so that's not gonna help you. File a dispute on your credit card company. They're gonna give you your money back immediately. And all you do is tell them, look, 
They canceled my service. I said I wanted my money back, and the only thing they said they would give me is an e-credit. Well, that's not a refund of your money. It's not gonna benefit you. So hopefully most of you that had these type of travel things in place, you use your credit card because that protected you from having your money taken away and being stuck in their cabal in the form of an e-credit. So ladies and gentlemen, post all your comments down below. I hope this video has helped you kind of understand where the money is in this coronavirus bill that has been passed. Maybe it can help you guys start the process of healing, overcoming, or getting in the right footing as we all try to wait for them to lax up these lockdowns so that we can get back out and get commerce going. But more importantly, we need people to heal. We need people to be safe. And for those of you affected by the coronavirus, my heart is with you first and foremost. Heal your family, get healthy, and commerce comes after that. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Until that next sexy as hell life game video. Helping you make those games. I'll see you.